Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new, my name is Ariana and I am in the nursing program at GCU and I am in level 2 right now. It's been quite a while since I have made a video because I just finished level 1 and yeah, that happened. Um, I had no idea. I mean, I had an idea, but like I just really didn't think that it would be as time consuming as it was and yeah that's what I'm here to talk about today anyway so we can just get into the video so obviously this is a recap on level one um, or I don't know what other people call it at other schools maybe like first first semester of nursing school that's basically what I just finished and yes I passed level one so that's exciting I'm on level two, um, yeah, I don't know, um, but yeah, I'll just get started. So currently I'm in week one of level two, so that's why I'm able to like make this video because it's only week one and it hasn't gotten started yet, but it'll get there. Um, so yeah, sorry if I don't like post a bunch of videos. It's just a lot of work, um, and this is not my top of my priorities so I'm sorry but I will recap the whole level and um, yeah just let you know what happened in it so the first thing that I am gonna say is that nursing school is so much different than prereqs like it's a night and day and like you'll find that this is like a reoccurring theme in this video is that like just how different nursing school is from prereqs like you thought prereqs was hard girl do i have news for you or boy should i i don't want to be like sexist and say that only girls are nurses but do i have some news for you so i'm really sorry to say it but yes your social life gets worse um i literally during a typical day of being in nursing school, I was either eating, sleeping, studying, or taking a break from studying. That was like literally the only four things that I did. Um, it's very time consuming. Like that's honestly the biggest part about nursing school is how time consuming it is. It's like hard, but like that's not even, like the biggest thing about nursing school is the time that you need to take out of your day to study for these classes. And I probably, that's probably the hardest part about it is just like realizing that you're not going to be having a life for the next however long the semester is. And um, yeah, that's just the hardest part. Um, apparently it gets better. Apparently level two, you have more time, but um, I'll let you guys know when I finish level two. Um, so yeah, that's just right out the gate. You need to know that you will have no time for like literally anything else and honestly knowing that and like acknowledging it makes the transition a little bit easier because I saw my friend when she was in level when I was her roommate in the summer and I just watched her study from sun up to sun down so having that like little like knowledge and expectation in my brain kind of prepared me for like what I was in for mentally prepare yourself because it's a wild ride that being said, what is important in nursing school is self-care because if you do not take care of yourself, you will get burnt out. I got burnt out towards the end of level one. I just think it's very important to do the things that make you not stressed. Like for me, I did yoga, I did face masks and like hair masks and whatever, like things that like make me like feel relaxed and like not like I'm like doing something for myself so I recommend doing that um, and continuing it through the whole semester because towards the end I just got like overwhelmed with like studying and class and finals and all that stuff and I stopped doing the self-care activities that I would do and I just felt really unmotivated in all aspects and not wanting to study and like procrastinating and just like basically burnt out 
and I think a main reason for that was just because I was ready to be done and like move on to the new level because I will finally be like caught up for once but also I think part of that was just like not taking care of myself like not giving time for myself and just only like thinking and working on school stuff so very important taking care of yourself whatever you like to do whatever you want to do um do that make time for that um i will say that um i also did like fun things like i went on a date every friday with my boyfriend and that was really fun because i would just look forward to that every week and yeah the little things like that they make the biggest difference so keep that in mind when you're nursing school okay so the next thing i want to talk about is studying uh, it's nothing like prereqs a prereqs video i talked about okay so i only had one hard class a semester so um before a week before that test i would start studying no they're all hard in nursing school so you're gonna need to be studying 24 7 even if, even if there's not a test coming up there's always a test coming up because you have four classes and they're all hard so um let me start off by like talking about the classes that i had and i'm not sure if this is true for like all schools but um yeah i think it's pretty universal across the board like maybe they're not named the same thing but same concepts i had foundations of nursing and i'm gonna be standing them from like hardest to like easiest so hardest one foundations of nursing it's basically all the base work base level stuff to build on top of so it's like you can it's also called fundamentals i think maybe that's what other schools might call it I personally thought that was the hardest class because the exams for that class were basically like what would you do in this situation then the four answers and they're all right you just have to choose the one that's most right like what yeah so that's the hardest one in my opinion because there's no like really straightforward answer that's why I thought that class was hard um uh, we also had the next hardest class was pharmacology. Oh my god, um, that class was pretty straightforward. Like, um, like the exams were pretty straightforward. It's just that there's like a lot of knowledge that you have to know. So just like studying for that is the hardest part. There's just so much that you have to absorb as far as information, and yeah, like the tests are like hard but like not like wishy-washy hard they're like oh i didn't study enough this drug that's why i'm gonna get this question wrong not like i literally have no idea which one's better oncology was just like a lot of information and it's all on you to absorb the information but it's very doable the next hardest class i had i would say was um health assessment which wasn't really too hard um i think i owe that to my teacher because she was such a good teacher and just really drilled the information into our heads and just really like honed in on the things that we need to know for our specific um class and like what's um what to expect to be on the test and um that class was basically just like head to toe what are you assessing and each body system and stuff like that um i really found it interesting so it wasn't really much of a chore for me to like study for that class so that's always fun and the least hardest class i had was intro to professional nursing which is basically like a communications slash history of nursing class and honestly that class was like the biggest waste of time but um yeah, I think everyone has to take it. The next thing I wanted to talk about was reading for the different classes. And so basically, um, week one, we were given the reading list for like each topic. And there was so many chapters for each week. So I wanted to know, what classes can I get away with not reading for? 
and so me and my friends asked um, a person in a different level, like a higher level, uh, if there was any classes that we didn't necessarily have to read for. And they told us that you didn't have to read for pharmacology, it wasn't helpful, and you also didn't have to read for intro, which was the class that I was talking about, the last one. Um, and I um, read for pharmacology for the first exam just because none of the drugs were on that one. It was just more of like all like definitions and stuff and like basically like an intro to pharmacology. So I just read for that exam um, and I did pretty well on that exam. So I recommend reading maybe for the first exam for um, for pharmacology and then for intro they said don't you don't have to read but the thing about that is I had a really bad professor that didn't teach us so I found reading helpful to like gain what I didn't get in class if that makes sense so um, if you do have a good professor then by all means don't read for that class I just we weren't blessed in the uh, professor department last semester so that's what I recommend with reading and then also obviously for the other two classes you have to read um, I would more so um, focus on reading for foundations because I think that's more important but um, reading for health assessment I also think is important and um, maybe like more of like skimming for health assessment you don't really have to in-depth read and um, all that what I would do personally is I would just like look at the headings and see if like it's something that I have no idea what that is and then I would start reading that um, like paragraph but um, yeah that's what I did for reading um, my pharmacology professor even said that we didn't have to read for that class so that was when I was just like okay cool totally I won't read I'll just focus on my drugs and my drug cards okay so how I studied for every class um, basically I studied every waking moment like I said, I would either be eating, sleeping, studying, or taking a break from studying. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much how I studied. I was either reading PowerPoints, reading the book, uh, recopying down my notes that I took in um, in class, filling out flashcards, pretty much anything I can do to be like just instilling the information in my mind. Basically from the time I got out of class to the time I like was getting ready for bed So and obviously taking breaks in between because you can't just straight study for that long You need to take breaks so you can retain the information So yeah, that's how I did it and honestly my intention with this video is to basically either like prepare you for what like is to come because I think that's super helpful if you like have an idea of what you're getting into instead of just being like bombarded with all these things and feeling overwhelmed and feeling stressed like you'll probably feel all those things but like since hearing these things and like knowing a little bit of an inside of what it's like maybe it'll be like less of a big shock um, so yeah that's kind of my purpose with this video um, I'm not trying to scare anyone, obviously, um, but I'm just, like, trying to let you know, like, hey, maybe get prepared. Um, yeah. Also, another thing I want to say is if you go to GCU, um, I had no idea that you had labs in nursing at the very beginning. Like, after you get accepted, you get your class schedule. And so I was just pretty much thinking that that was my only, like, those were my only classes. Um, and yeah, apparently there is two labs, one two-hour lab and one four-hour lab added on to your already existing classes. So that's something to keep in mind. I had no idea. I was very surprised the first week of school. And yeah, um, they didn't really explain that very well at the orientation, at least for my orientation. You might have a different one where they explain it well. I already got into my schedule a little bit, but um, I want to talk about what a typical week looks like. You only have foundations once a week instead of like split up times of foundation. So you have four classes, two labs, and they're all one day a week. Just a longer time of having it, but um... Yeah, you don't have to go to separate classes. So, 
um, for this is how my schedule went. I had Monday, um, I had pharmacology from 8.30 to 11.30, and then I had a little break, and then I had to go to class at 1 to 5. So a three-hour class, and then a four-hour class. So those were my busy days. Mondays were my busy days, and yeah, I'd basically be in class for seven hours. And that was a little bit rough. Yeah, Tuesdays were my day off, so kind of able to recuperate from that Monday. Um, and then Wednesday, I would have a four-hour lab that would be for um, foundations. And then Thursday, I would have a class 8.30 to 11.30 health assessment. And I would have the health assessment lab right after from 1 to 3, so a two-hour lab after that. And then on Fridays, we would just have intro in the morning, which was 8.30 to 11.30, and then that would complete my week. And then I also want to add that when you do have clinicals, um, for me, clinicals were at a skilled nursing facility. If you don't know what that is, because I didn't know what that is, it's just old people that um, have medical things going on. Um, nothing too crazy because um, they're not really equipped for that kind of thing. Um, but yeah. So that's where level one nursing um, clinicals are at, a school nursing facility. Um, but when you do have clinicals, you don't have the four hour lab. So it's in exchange for that. So you have an eight hour clinical instead of a um, four hour lab. And I really enjoyed clinicals, um, it was really fun. I found out that I like old people and I just really liked applying my skills to people other rather than like um rather than like my peers or a mannequin it's really different when it's like a person that you don't know and that you have to be like professional with and yeah it's an actual person instead of a fake arm clinicals were five weeks um so for five weeks i didn't have that lab but i did have those clinicals um and yeah i think that's like everything i have for level one um yeah, <laughs> um, it's a lot, um, like I said, I didn't make this to scare you or like persuade you to not or anything like that. This is just to like prepare you, give you a easier transition because if you know what's coming then you won't be so shocked. Um, yeah, if you have any questions for me just leave them down in the comments. Um, I'll be answering them. I also have a QA and a um, coming out. That, that will be the next video. And yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I just hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.